algumas semanas atrás, Ansel Air a percurar para nos pôr a baitopa cara a cara com o Prince Royce durante um de seus concertos na, na isla de Corshaw. Aqui, nós vamos conversar com ele cara a cara para nos pôr a escutar o que o tour está passando dentro sua carreira no momento de aqui e naturalmente para pôr o que o arruba por baixo espera de Prince Royce durante a noite de dia 3 de outubro. Ladies and gentlemen, October 3rd, Aruba, will be a great day where Mr. Prince Royce will be performing uh, during the 8th Caribbean Sea Jazz Festival. And we are currently in Curaçao. Woo! We are in Curaçao. We tracked him down. Yeah! <laughs> uh, thank God he was very close by. And uh, in order for us to talk a little bit about uh, his career and of course what Aruba can expect um, after about uh, two years that he was in Aruba, what we can expect, changes, uh, etc. Prince, uh, welcome and uh, thank you for having us. Thank you guys. I'm so excited to, to go back to Aruba. I had such a great time last time I was there. Such a beautiful place and um, I'm actually very excited that I can go and, and relax a bit, you know. Okay. Um, so much has changed. I mean, new songs, new album, new tours. The production has grown so much. Uh, you know, we, we, we got more production, more video, a longer set. So I think definitely the people could, could, could enjoy more music. Um, by October, I would also hopefully release uh, my first English English single. I'm releasing. I'm working on my first English album, Pop in English. So hopefully, I'll be singing some some new material as well. Um, and I'm just excited. I'm excited to still be here, to still be singing and traveling the world and representing where I'm from and and, and bachata. You know, so for sure, excited to 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 go back to Aruba and have a great time like always. Great. I know artists meet a lot of people, um, so I'm gonna take you back three years ago. Uh, it was another another Aruba, not in Curacao, mm. but it was on Saint Martin. Saint Martin. I'm gonna show I, you. I remember being there. How did it feel to be on stage here in Saint Martin? Yeah, I mean, I wish I would have stayed a little longer, but we, we were short on time. But I mean, it's a beautiful island. It's my first time here. I mean, I didn't even know that 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 I was, you know, that you I went I to cover uh, the concert. That's in, right, uh, in Saint Martin, and uh, 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 you were leaving, and I said, no, we have to get That's an interview. That's beautiful. I remember. And, uh, and we had two minutes in the car, but it was a really nice, uh, nice experience. Um, tell us a little bit from then to up to now. Uh, in, in a flash speed, what, what do you feel has, has gone uh, yeah, through yourself, uh, actually, through your career, the differences? I think I've just grown more as an artist, as a, as a singer, as a songwriter. I think I've learned a lot and I'm still learning a lot. I'm learning a lot every time I perform in a new place. I'm learning a lot every, 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 every song I record. I'm learning a lot uh, every concert. So for sure, I've grown so much. I actually remember that 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 day. It was it was a fun day, you know. So definitely so glad to just continue to, to do what I love and, and continue continue to follow my dreams. And I thank all the people, um, not just from Aruba, but from around the world, and, and and all these beautiful islands that that listen to so many different types of music. You know, I come to Curacao, I go to San Martin, Aruba. You guys listen to you know English and Spanish and Dutch and French and salsa, bachata, merengue, dance. Yeah, yeah. And reggaeton, everything, and to me, um, I feel like there's so much talent in, in all these places. And for me, it's a true honor to, to bring my music here and see people from so many different places and so many different languages, languages and cultures sing, come to one concert to sing my songs. It's pretty amazing. Aruba, are you ready? The 3rd and 4th of October, Purple Entertainment presents Caribbean Sea Jazz Festival. Three stages with the best of today's music. Friday Night Latin Fever with Prince Royce, Grupo Gualao and Shuffle Demons. On Saturday, Candy Dolfer, Liv Warfield and MPG Horns, Richard Bona, Eric Almas, Jazzanova and many more. For ticket info, go to CaribbeanSeaJazz.com. Caribbean Sea Jazz Festival 2014 at Renaissance Festival Plaza. Um caballero sumamente humilde, down to earth, estava de experiência com os Porra Rainha, agora conhece entrevistar Prince Royce, que ainda o vai ter na Aruba, dia 3 de outubro, na Renaissance Marketplace, formando parte da primeira noite do Caribbean Sea Jazz Festival. Nós queremos informar a Abo que esta parte de Gele, para buscar bocar e trempar, para sobre o que está vai delimitar. A ano passado acaba, durante a 17 edição, e a noite não estava quase sold out. E a ano aqui, com um artista de peso, a maneira Prince Royce, nós podemos garantir que a noite aqui está sold out. 
Pues, vos tenés diferente oportunidad de pasar un equipo por para, tanto full delante de lo que te trata Standing VIP, cual por cierto, mi Kersan queda más o menos un 20 para 30 carchis son, per sección de Standing VIP. Vos tenés entrada general, que te va a estar net atrás, que está available, y también lo va a tener dos secciones de VIP en cada banda de escenario. Entonces, no está invitado a pasar un equipo por buscar por carchis, trempan, para que no quede fuera. Tanto de promedio noche, día 3 de octubre de Prince Royce, como también ya sabrá noche que también te va a tener una gran cantidad de artistas de manera Liv Warfield. Pero mientras tanto, nos toca continuar para sobre conversación con Prince Royce a seguir. You've uh, just recently announced the uh, Soil Mismo Tour that's uh, gonna start, uh, many dates uh, coming up. Yep. Uh, what can the world expect from Soil Mismo Tour? Well, it's very intimate, it's very musical, you know, we got a saxophone in the show now, we, we, we got a bigger production, we got a longer show, um, and I think it's just so musical. I think this Soil Mismo album is just very different from all the rest. We have an accordion, we have cellos, violines, we got a harp, we got uh, just live percussion, we got timbales, we got uh, saxophones and trumpets and horns on bachata, which hasn't been done, I don't think it's been done before, and, and if it has been done, not in a long time. So it's definitely, um, you know, like the ukulele and that mm -hmm. for example, which mm -hmm. was something so different. So I, 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 you know, people can expect all, all those types of to genres to come on stage live. And we also changed some of the songs a little bit, um, different arrangements so people can come home with with enjoying their, their favorite song, but also in a, in a different way where they can also sing along in a, in a, in a more intimate way. So for sure, I, I, I love singing live. Good. A little bit about Prince Royce as a person. Um, when you're not on stage, what is Prince Royce doing? When I'm not on stage, you know, I'm in the pool, I'm eating, I love restaurants, I love trying new food. That's why every, every, every new place I go, I like trying, uh, you I know. Heard golf? Like the local, yeah, the local food. I, I'm into golfing now, I've been practicing a lot. Um, I've been doing pretty well. So I'm working on my golf. Um, video games, I love video games. It's write songs, I try to go to the studio as much as I can, keep writing. A um, little bit of everything. Everything you guys do, I do too. <laughs> you also do. What's the craziest thing that, uh, that you have in your dressing room that you specifically request? In my dressing room, you know, I don't have too many crazy things. I got w white flowers, some candles to set the mood. Nice. Um, Nothing, nothing, nothing much. Nothing strange. Okay, okay. As some tea for sure, some tea. Um, I just like to be, I, I try not to think of nothing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When I'm in my dressing room, I try to just be as clean as possible. Right. Not too many crazy things. The genre bachata has uh, grown immensely around the world. Where have you been that you would never have imagined that bachata would be great or... I no? mean, so a lot of places. I mean, when I went to Aruba for the first time, that was a surprise to me. When I went to St. Martin, Um, but, you know, I've been to places in Europe that to me is impressive, you know, like Italy, like France, uh, Switzerland, uh, Germany, where it's places where it's like, whoa, I can't believe these people here listening to my music, you know, they don't, these people here don't even speak English, don't even speak Spanish, and sometimes I would be at some shows and I speak to them in English and they wouldn't understand. I speak to them in Spanish and they wouldn't understand. But then they're singing all my songs in Spanish. So that was like, whoa, you know, that, that, that was impressive. And I think that's what it's all about, trying to just continue to expand uh, my audience and, and get to places that I, that I haven't gone to before. You mentioned that you're working on your new album, English album. Um, any hints of, uh, of maybe uh, some uh, collaborations? I, I saw For some, sure. some, some pictures on social media. For maybe sure. There's definitely going to be... I'm not going to announce anything yet. <laughs> um, there's definitely going to be collaborations with American artists and also Latin artists on this English album. It's going to be pop, urban. Uh, you're going to expect some club bangers and you can okay. expect some beautiful romantic ballads as well that I know the ladies love. You can expect... Latin influence also, some Spanish on so some songs, and also maybe some tropical rhythms mixed and blended in with uh, urban or pop sounds. So I think it's definitely going to be a, a cool album that's going to be fresh and new for the people. And I think people are going to hear another side of Prince Royce that they haven't um, heard before. So I'm definitely excited uh, to, to, to do this crossover, you know? Yeah. Shortly on another project that you also did, which is not directly, uh, it has to do with music, but not you, you singing, is the uh, La Voz, uh, kids, yeah. uh, the voice version for kids. How was that working on that It project? was beautiful, it was beautiful to me to, to be with kids from the ages of 7 and 12 that have a dream, that um, 
are really so young with such big voices, such talent. And for me to be able to be, be there and take part in their career and help them grow and, you know, their stories, their crying, it, it's, it's very, it's very emotional, you know, a lot of happiness, a lot of sadness, but it's definitely something that I'm proud of, you know, being part of, of these kids' careers and kind of make, helping them achieve their goals and, and make their dreams come true. Awesome. So let's get back to October 3rd, Aruba. Woo! It's the 8th Caribbean Sea Jazz Festival, a big two-day uh, festival. Um, I would like you to give the uh, opportunity to invite um, Aruba to come and, and let them know what they can expect. Yeah! A toda mi gente de Aruba, um, for sure, so excited to, to be here at the Sea Jazz Festival. I'll see you October 3rd and I'm sure we're going to have so much fun. I can't wait because in October it's going to be a little colder, so I'm ready to go to Aruba and heat things up. Send you guys a big kiss. Thank you guys. Mwah! Rice.